Meet Maya and Max. Maya is an international investor planning to invest in a glass bottling plant in a Latin American country. Max is an international lender who is also considering financing the plant. The project is technically and financially viable and Maya and Max decide to support the project. However, the country has had a history of violent protests and civil rebellions. So, Maya and Max ask MEGA about its War and Civil Disturbance cover, which protects against loss from damage to or destruction or disappearance of tangible assets or total inability to conduct operations caused by politically motivated acts of war, terrorism or civil disturbance. Maya and Max's investments in the glass bottling plant meet MEGA's requirements and they each get war and civil disturbance cover. Within a few years, construction of the plant is completed and business is humming along. But after a while, civil unrest breaks out, with rebels storming the glass bottling plant. Buildings are damaged and machinery is stolen or destroyed. Operations come to a halt. However, Max is still exposed for the money he has lent to the glass bottling plant, which is now struggling to make its debt service payments because of the damage. Machinery and facilities that Maya has invested in need to be replaced or repaired if the plant is to continue operating. So, Maya and Max both turn to MEGA and file claims. MEGA reviews the claims and where there are tangible asset losses, it pays Maya the lesser of replacement or repair costs for damaged assets. MEGA pays the book value if assets are neither being replaced nor repaired. If there is permanent loss of use, MEGA pays Maya compensation based on the insured investment's net book value. MEGA also compensates Max for the insured portion of the principal and interest payment in default. To learn more about MEGA's war and civil disturbance coverage, go to mega.org forward slash products.